welcome back to my channel. Today's a special day. We're gonna go pay a visit to a good buddy of mine, DDE. And you know, they're very close to me. They're my neighbor and they got a new shop. I'm excited to see what they've done. And maybe drive some cars. So let's head it. Warm up some tires, but we can't do too crazy because these are still eight year old tires on this car. Eight years 2016. Hmm, that would be six years, but still way too old. I'm waiting for new tires, they're back ordered, so we're gonna take it easy today and enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up to you, <laughs> sir. We're not well, buying you, palaces yet, but. This is awesome. Oh, I can't wait to get a tour because I know you got some dungeons back there. We do, what we do have you? all sorts of cool stuff. If you haven't seen this place before, this is a big makeover. Had some awful, what, what do they call them, Dave? Swiss tracks, 9,000 Swiss track tiles. Where they click what? in? They're for sale if you want to buy a few of them. Yeah. Right there. They're yellow and red. They're, they're Let's go take a look. They're really in fashion, <laughs> come on in. Welcome to our humble abode. Yeah. This is, uh, is kind of like the showroom. Yeah. We got a bunch of cars here. We have the 2005 Carrera GT that you came to see. Recently yep. done in a signal green wrap film. with protective film solutions. Awesome. And some new forged black wheels to dress it all up for Mail 13. Love it. We got the SVJ, recently back from Gumball 3000. You oh, ever yeah. done any big rallies? No, you know. You should come on Gumball. I know. Party, it's, party it's for a week. It's one of those, I'm still, is on my bucket list. I want to do, because it's multi-days. It is. You got to block out. You got to get the wife and kids on board with the program, and that's been a little bit. I can appreciate everything you just said, as well as, yeah. it's not about the financial investment that you have to pay the rally it's to the go. Time. It's, it's the time you lose of making money elsewhere. So it's double compounded. Exactly. A lot of people don't look at it that way, yeah, but that's what you have 100%. to remember. But this car was great, flawless, 3,000 miles, or just shy of 3,000 miles. Dave and I had a blast. Dave still got the gumball shirt on. You got a free t-shirt out of the deal. It's actually not bad. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this thing took a licking and Ooh, kept on ticking. Rims. We got three iterations of Lamborghini V12s here for you. Now this. New edition. I this figured is a this, smart, yeah. smart buy. Up your I alley. Like I like uh, it. These nine, are going to be a million dollar plus cars. 1998. Diablo SV. SVs They are, only made 220 SVs or 221 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, pretty rare. Right. Jump in there. Wow. Well, as with any classic supercar, butt first. Butt, butt first. first. Button slide. Swing Button in, slide. See? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, my buddy used to have one long time ago. I drove it once. Um, man, it's loud. Yeah. The V12 right behind your ear. He must have, he must have an exhaust because this one's pretty quiet. You're kidding. That's he's right. Right. He had started. a straight pipe. The key's in there if you want to pop it out of here and nice fire it up. Try. Yeah. You never buy anything quiet. No, mm -hmm. we gotta, we still gotta is quiet. do this one. Mark, this sounds like a Pontiac Fiero. Not that loud. Yeah, I think he had a straight pipes. Yeah, right. No joke. Yeah. I mean, that thing was so loud. We gotta dress this one up. But I like it. I like the yellow. Accents in the yellow. Giallo. Very nice. I think, I think that's how Italians say it. Giallo. So yeah. Beautiful. SV. Behind you we have what came after the Diablo, the Murcielago. But this LP640? is LP640. LP640. Yep. I used to have one of these. I had the LP640 Roadster, and uh, you know I should have kept it. It was yellow. That's cool. Oh. With black and yellow diamond cut stitching. That's how my manual LP640 is. Crashed at the moment. Oh. I didn't crash it. The head tech at the garage that rebuilt our transmission for us uh -huh. took it on a test drive Ooh. at the tail end of our winter season and there was tons of gravel and sand yeah. on the road and it just went sideways. You just didn't have the experience and it just went sideways on him and he put it wow. into the only light pole and fire hydrant on the whole block. What so it hit the light pole, spun around and then hit the fire hydrant. Did in the whole back end and the whole wow. front end. What a lucky So I'm dealing guy. with that at the moment. 
unfortunately. Anyhow, I didn't hear that. continues on. So Diablo Murcielago yep. Aventador race programs are in the back. This is where we're going to be actually building cars, not just the bolt-on stuff. We bought a 19. So you brought me out to DDE factory. Basically. DDE factory now. I like it. This was a perfectly wow. good 99 bad boys uh, style My Ferrari God. 550 Marinello, naturally aspirated oh. V12 in the front, gated shifter, three pedals. We bought this car for about 180,000. And by the time we're done with it, we'll have well exceeded the cost of the car just in modifications, oh, true wow. mods. So full 3D scan render, full wide body kit coming for it, one off. Full interior, wow. harness, cage, race seats. We already have spark Get out. Lights. So it's gotta be a brand new car. Brand new. Because you need to do that, because from this angle, you know, it looks like a Persian wheelbarrow. It does. A Persian wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a question for you. Yeah. Original, so to repaint this car, do mm -hmm. we go original, Ferrari yellow? Because most people don't know, Ferrari's original color was, was yellow, yellow, but it wasn't red. Do, or do we do red, the traditional known Ferrari color, mm -hmm. or do we go wild and do the Azuro Dino blue, that bright blue? That's DD color. Blue. Blue. Blue it is. That was easy. And you're wearing the hat. Yeah. So we'll take you out in that. I will let you have the keys to that. We'll bring you out to Willow Springs and see if you can blow the engine in that car. Oh! Since I blew the engine in the last car, you were in with me. <laughs> And then we have a bunch of the old Viper drift cars. Ooh. Dean's currently got his program on the East Coast in New Jersey doing Formula Drift. And we will be doing like build base in here. So we're gonna have a Ooh. few more cars in here. I like it. Yeah. So this is being transformed, like we said, in the process of some yeah. renovations. Yeah. This will be some form of, we wanna kind of do what you did. We wanna stay in shape. We have a Peloton and some weights. We're gonna make this kind of like a gym area for now. Now you put helmets on when you get on there, just for safety, right? For safety, so especially Dave. Dave's just, <laughs> yeah. Dave's just learning how to run. <laughs> this is gonna be Shut an engine once. building room. So you need a clean room to put engines yeah. together, transmissions, that'll be this. Through here we have a media room and some restrooms if you need to use one. Mm -hmm. The boys edit down in the main hallway. We'll do that in a second. Awesome. This is like the front of the house. So yeah, this is reception. our- not so B52 carbon fiber million dollar desk. We're working our way up. Hey, nothing. This is 500 bucks, dude. This is 500 dollars. This is 500 dollars. Just wrap it in carbon fiber. Right. Well, we Problem leased solved. It. We leased it. That is just a studio room, by the way. Oh, so we do like, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, like green screen or yeah. if we want to do interviews or yeah, kind of like give things that reality TV feel. Very cool. And then last but not least, kind of the crown jewel of this place that we personally love yeah. is this attached stainless steel kitchen Ooh. this is like a, a master i love this a chef's kitchen yeah all right thanks for showing me around my pleasure now the best part of this day you want to is of course i gotta go for a ride i came all the way from uh irvine it was about six miles <laughs> <laughs> you take the cgt i'm gonna throw you the keys to that where are the keys all the right P1? my keys are in there deal <laughs> Left here, down to the lights, left again, and we follow the curve, and we're okay. at the. And it's all it's all uphills. Oh, oh that's we're great! We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna take Manny to. We'll see how you can drive. We're gonna take you to San Francisco. <laughs> ah, let's do it. How's it feel to be back in this? Oh, it feels great. Hey, wait a minute. Why is your airbag light on? Oh, there's no airbags. There's no airbags. What? When, when they wrap the car, they forgot to plug one of the doors in. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't want to come back. With a hamburger face. You're fine. You're fine. We replaced the airbag with a bag of marbles. You won't come back with a hamburger face as long as you don't crash. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Man, it brings back memories. <laughs> this car sounds awesome. The straight pipes. Ooh. Well, normally, Carrier GT sounds amazing. One of the best sounding exhaust on any car. But DDE has taken it one step further. All right, let's go warm up some tires. On a Kerry GT, you definitely want to have warm tires, warm brakes, and make sure your traction control is on. Woo! Just testing the handling. That <laughs> was great. car. 
like. I like. I like. I like. Oh my god. We need to fix that flap. Oh yeah. The flap's open. Is it open again? Yeah. Opening. Show them what's happening. Yeah, we got a gas cap issue. Broken cap lid, that's a discount. No, there's a discount for that broken gas lid. I was gonna. <laughs> Dude, th your car is awesome. You like it? Oh, I miss my Carrier GT. After driving this, oh, it brings back memories. Are you kidding? It's awesome! Awesome! Wow, that P1 looks wicked. Look how high the wing is. I think these two cars are absolutely legendary in their own. The McLaren P1 with the Formula 1 technology and this car was actually supposed to be a race car. And Porsche decided to shelf it and then later on, later on they decided to produce the cars. So they both have a lot of race heritage behind it. Wow, sounds so awesome. How many of these did they make? Uh, 1,221 or two. They were supposed to build over 1,500, but they stopped producing it because people wouldn't buy these. Can you believe it? If I had the option, go back in time, I would order the remainder 300 units available. How old were you when you bought your first Carrera GT? 37. Oh wow, there's yeah. that. Yeah, but better than that, I bought a F40 in 2005 and I was 34 at that time. A car amazing the sound and the clutch everything is so responsive <laughs> Manny liking is Manny having a good time? Oh, he blast from the past. He's <laughs> definitely reminiscing. He's so I can't even imagine the, the negotiations after this. He is a deal maker. I don't know. I want to go head to head making a, a deal with Manny Koshevin. This is the car I have to get next. Like this one. Having one of Manny's cars would be so cool. Like all that story and everything behind it that he's done with this car. And he's so now world renowned for his car collection. He picks all the right cars, does all the right things to him. He has so many, his money, they really stole, or maybe he invented uh, my one of one because he's like one of one ordering hypercars. Yeah, it's crazy. Insane. Herm Hermes Bugatti Chiron, Hermes Pagani Huayra, Hermes uh, Speedtail, like on some next level. You know what's funny? Right before we got to your place, he was yeah. specking his Valkyrie. You're getting a Valkyrie? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna show you my it's big. Has it got an Hermes interior? <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Alright guys, that will do it for this week's video. I had a lot of fun with Damon and Dave. What a treat driving a Carrier GT. Brought back a lot of memories. I'm gonna end the video here because I gotta focus on my drive. Be safe, be well. See you guys next week. So I sold this for 40.7 million. Uh, two years ago, so I made about close to $12 million.
Residential investors work longer hours for lower returns compared to commercial real estate investors. Contrarian Academy helps residential investors successfully acquire their first commercial property in six months or less. There is a lot of pockets of opportunity where you can take great real estate that's located in a great location and repurpose it. While one state, for example, Houston that's heavily invested in oil and gas industry is experiencing a recession, you may have another state like California experiencing the economic boom. You don't really have to wait for a global economic recession to jump out and invest your money and buy real estate. Apply now by clicking the link below.